Okay, we're doing number three in 10.1 to 10.4 review. So we're going to graph this ellipse and we're going to find the coordinates of the foci and the vertices. So first thing we do is we want the equation to be in standard form. In other words, we want this to be equal to 1. So we have to divide everything by 36. So this reduces, and this reduces, and this becomes 1. So we now have the equation in standard form. The standard form of the equation of an ellipse looks like this. It's similar to the equation of a circle in that the center is h comma k. Okay. But in a circle, the a squared and the b squared are identical. In an ellipse, they are not necessarily identical. So a circle is a special ellipse. So first, let's find the center. That's the opposite of what follows the x. So that's 1. And the opposite of what follows y. So that's negative 3. So 1, negative 3 is the center. Our a squared is 9, so that makes a plus or minus 3. a squared is always the bigger of the two numbers that are in the denominator here. And our b squared is 4, so b is plus or minus 2. Because the number that is under the y is 9 and its square root is 3, we go from the center up 3 and down 3. That's in the direction of the y, because this is under the y. Look at the number that's under the x. Its square root is 2. We go 2 away from the center in each direction. We now have our ellipse. We connect we have the vertices anyway. So we connect these vertices, and the ellipse looks something like that. Now let's solve for c. The equation for c is c squared equals a squared minus b squared. That will help us find the two points for foci. So just make sure you always put the bigger number as your a squared. So you don't want to get a negative number for, when, for c squared. Okay, so c squared is equal to 9 minus 5. So c is plus or minus, sorry, 9 minus 4. So c is plus or minus root of 5. So we go root of 5 away from the center in the direction of the major axis. The major axis is the longer axis. So here is the center. The center is at 1, negative 3. So we still want to go 1 for our foci, 1, comma. But instead of going down to negative 3, we're going to go radical 5 up from negative 3 and radical 5 down from negative 3. Radical 5 is a number between radical 4 and radical 9. So in other words, it's a number between two, the two whole numbers 2 and 3. And it's much closer to radical 4. So it's a closer number, closer to 2 than 3. We're just estimating anyway. So we go up 
two, a little more than two away from the center in the up direction because that's where the major axis is. The foci are always, they lie on the major axis. And we go radical five down, so a little more than two down. Those are the two points for the foci. So the x-axis of the foci is the same as the center. The x-coordinate of the foci is the same as the center in this case. And the y-coordinate is what has changed. So we go 3, negative 3, plus radical 5, and 1, negative 3, minus radical 5. That's the lower foci, this one. Okay, so you can write it as 1, comma, negative 3, plus or minus root of 5. The major vertices are these two, this one and this one. So that's at 1, comma, 0 and 1, comma, negative 6. The minor vertices are at negative 1, negative 3, and 3, negative 3. There are these two. And that's everything we need for our